What if I told you that the Bulls point guard of the future wasn't Lonzo Ball or Damian Lillard or any of those other guys that we've been talking about lately and was actually a dude who's already won MVP in Europe, but it counts. Vasilio Micic. Let me make sure I got that right. One second. I want to make sure I did that right. Vasilie Micic. Vasilia Micic. Vasilia Micic. That's our guy. Um, Vasilia Micic is a 27 year old point guard playing in the Turkish Super League whose rights are currently owned by the Oklahoma City Thunder. Um, they acquired him last season um, in that Al Horford trade. His name has been popping up in trade rumors the past couple of days after a report was published by Mozart Sports. Um, which is a Serbian sports outlet that seems to have a lot of clout because a lot of people are picking up on this story right now. Um, and then I read a report from my dude, Daniel Greenberg, um, who said that actually it was a report that he, um, I think was translating um, from a, a Turkish reporter um, that Chicago Bulls vice president of player personnel, Pat Connolly, um, was recently in Istanbul scouting Michich. Um, so the Bulls are definitely interested. There is smoke and it appears there is fire. Um, so who is Michich? Let's learn a little more about him because I'm pretty excited and I think you guys will be too. Before we get too far into this, if you're a Bulls fan or you just love NBA content in general, make sure to hit subscribe, like, drop a comment. All that stuff really helps me out. I appreciate you guys. Also, just letting you know, there is a an article up on the Arturis Fan Club blog right now covering all of the Vasilya Micic news written by my good dude, Wrigley. He is one of the talented, talented writers on the staff of the Arturis Fan Club blog. Um, all kinds of new content going up there every single day, so please make sure to go check that stuff out. Um, the links will all be in the description as always. Thank you. So, Micic, like I said, a point guard who is 27 years old. Now, you might be a little put off by his age. That's okay, and that's understandable. Um, some of the other EuroLeague guys who tend to come over from overseas start out pretty young. Um, there's this one guy who's, like, really good and is, you know, maybe one of the best players in the NBA, and he's really young, um, and it worked out really well for him. That's all fine and well. Um, Michich at 27 years old is a known commodity, and he is, obviously, as you can tell, dominated in EuroLeague. You know, you don't win EuroLeague MVP just for being a scrub. Um, it is a very competitive basketball league full of very talented players. Coming from EuroLeague to the NBA would be a pretty easy transition, I think, for a guy like him. Um, he's played at the highest level. He's played against really good competition. It probably wouldn't be too much of a struggle for him to, to make that adjustment. Um, now, it's being said that his agent sees him as a starter coming over from Europe. And by all accounts, it seems like this is the season that he's going to do it finally. Um, I have a friend who is kind of plugged into the the Euroleague, uh, the Euroleague scene. Um, and that's basically what he was telling me is that he's his season's over. Um, and this is kind of the time that he's going to be coming over from from Europe. So as of right now, his rights are still owned by the Thunder, but it sounds like the Bulls are interested and we'll get into what that trade might look like in a second. But I want to keep talking about who Michich reminds me of, what kind of role he could play, and what kind of player he is. Um, so just watching his highlights, I mean, the dude can score from anywhere. He is a bucket, certified bucket. Um, you, you'll see him driving down the lane, coming off screens, off back cuts. Um, you know, hitting wide open shots, hitting contested shots, hitting shots off the dribble. He's got this nifty little step back that reminds me of the, the dude I was talking about earlier who came over from Europe pretty young. I guess the, the limitations and the shortcomings that I've seen so far, you know, he's a good playmaker. Uh, I forgot to mention that he passes the ball extremely well, um, and has great court vision. Um, when he doesn't have the ball in his hands though, that's when it looks like he kind of disappears a little bit. Um, he really likes to have the ball in his hands, especially when he's scoring. Um, you know, he's crafty. I've seen him cross dudes over. 
but when he's off ball he's not really a great off ball shooter um and you know there's not a lot for him to do which could be a little problematic with guys like Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic on the team right now um so we'll see how we'll have to see you know if we do end up getting him where that goes um you know what kind of role he might end up playing with Billy Donovan something important to remember is that Billy Donovan likes to run those three guard lineups um so you know in a scenario where we do keep Kobe White and we do acquire Michich we could run a lineup of Michich White Levine um and then maybe you do like Patrick Williams at the four and Vooch the five um you know you still get that defense from from Patrick Williams um you you might lose a bit <laughs> in the backcourt um we'll have to see what kind of defender he is um I haven't really read a lot about what kind of defender he is and and you know how good he is at staying in front of his opponent um but the guy is intelligent he has very high basketball IQ so I don't doubt that he's a good team defender um and he's quick he's quick so I I, I don't doubt that he could keep up with uh, some of the quicker guys and you know like I was saying earlier about making the transition over from EuroLeague um defense is the one that has more of a learning curve because you can score but when guys are trying to score on you that's when a lot of these players get exposed um so once again we will have to see um by all accounts right now just you know preliminary reading looking at highlights stuff like that um I can tell that this guy would be one of the top tier backup point guards in the NBA um now the problem is the bulls need a starting point guard um so acquiring michic i don't think is the band-aid to all of our problems and i don't think it means that we're you know not pursuing lonzo anymore um i just think arturis karnashovas has those really strong overseas ties he likes european players he has a certain style of basketball that he wants to mold the bulls into and i think arturis sees that the nba is moving towards um a more global form of basketball and kind of adopting some policies that come over from europe um so from that standpoint this kind of makes sense um that's the trend of the league and arturis karnashovas is trying to stay on top of it um which i'm all for i really like it so in terms of what we'd have to give up to get him um i'm gonna i'm gonna say kobe white is off the table just because kobe white still has a future with the bulls and i know the bulls really like him um there's an interesting i don't know there's an interesting issue that would be presented by acquiring michich um like i said earlier about billy donovan's three guard lineups those are good and fun but at some point you're still going to need to play some defense in that backcourt and you know <laughs> Kobe White, as much as I love the guy, I don't know if he would work next to Levine and Michich at the same time. Um, so you'd have to have that discussion about, okay, well, who's coming off the bench? Is it going to be Kobe White or is it going to be Michich? And I think to start, it would have to be Michich just because he's fresh to the NBA. Um, but that's a question you have to ask yourself if you're if you're Billy Donovan or Turris and Mark Eversley. Um, what, what do you see Kobe White's future with the team? What is his role? And... You know, is he movable? If you get Michich, maybe Kobe White becomes movable in a different trade to acquire a different player. Who knows? Um, so, I mean, I think there would definitely be some some second round picks being involved here. Um, there's the possibility you throw in. Yeah, I don't like saying it, but you know, if you if you feel really high about Michich, you could possibly trade that young, but. I'm not a huge fan of that idea. I like more of the idea of going for like, you know, second rounders and maybe like a Tomas Sadoransky. Um, and maybe if we package another couple picks in with it, maybe we could try to shed the contract of Al Farouk Aminu, who is expiring. And you know, the Thunder love to take on expiring contracts with draft picks. So maybe that's an option. Um, you know the bulls don't really have a ton of dra a ton of trade assets right now and draft capital um you know to just be throwing around so it is kind of a tough deal um but you know it, it really all depends on how high the the thunder value michish um to their timeline i mean that team is super super young they're still kind of rebuilding um maybe they see michish as a player who's ready for a win now team rather than a team that's kind of still ascending um you know and that that would make sense from their perspective that they'd like to get some assets for him while you know he's still in his prime 
Um, so like I said, you know, maybe we look at Ryan Archidiakono, um, it, Thomas Sadoransky is kind of tough because he's already on the older side himself, but these are all expiring contracts after next season, you know, so that's kind of what the Thunder have been doing. You know, you take on a bad contract and a nice draft pick, a couple nice draft picks, um, and keep stockpiling those picks, let those contracts expire. Rebuilding. You guys know how it works. Um, so, I mean, that's still an option. Um, you know, other than those couple of guys, I, I don't really see who else. I mean, you could bring up the idea that the Bulls would trade the rights to Marco Simonovic um, in order to get Michich. Once again, I personally don't like that idea because I've been really excited about Marco Simonovic coming over from Europe. And I think having having these three, like a big three of Euro dudes with Michich, uh, Simonovic, and obviously Vucevic, um, the Viches, um, that would be super cool. I think that would be really fun. And like I had said earlier, the the trend of the NBA that Arturis Karnaschovas is kind of leaning into pretty hard um, of European players. So, you know, we'll, we'll have to see what the trade ends up looking like if it gets done. Um, I don't foresee the Bulls overpaying for this guy. Um, I think right now his value is, is steady. It's just, I think he would be more valuable if he were on a different team. And that's no offense to the Thunder. I have a ton of friends who are Thunder fans. Love you guys. Um, and I think they've all kind of expressed similar sentiments of like, well, okay. You know, they're, they're not like crying about the fact that the team might trade him. Um, just the, the kind of player at his age and his skill set that's probably better suited for a team that's trying to win right now um, rather than a team that's still rebuilding. And mind you, the Thunder, their timeline might move pretty quickly. They have a lot of really good young players that are developing at a high rate. Um, so everything I'm saying right now could end up being totally untrue. And by the start of the season, Michich might be on that team. And who knows, they might be contending for one of those late seeds. You never know. Um, but as of right now, the report is that the Bulls are interested and I like it. Um, some of the comparisons I've heard are to like Bogdanovich, what he's doing with the Hawks right now. Um, you know, he could be a player like that for us or just like a, a really good version of Tomas Sadoransky. Like, I'm sure you guys have watched Tomas Sadoransky and realized like he has potential and he has value. Um, it's just sometimes athletically IQ things don't really match up in the NBA. Um, so like the, the comparisons I've heard are like a, a higher level version of Sadoransky. Um, it seems like Michi's floor is high is kind of what I'm getting at. Like we know what he is. We know what he's coming over as, um, he's not going to be, you know, total buns. So, you know, worst case scenario, he comes over and he's a backup point guard. That's totally cool. I think the question is, does he have the juice to come over and be a starter? And it's possible. We really don't know yet. Um, a lot of players, like I said, they come over and they make that jump and it's their bread and butter. It's totally natural for them. Some on the other hand have a tougher adjustment. Um, but for the most part, I mean, if you're a Euro league MVP, you can definitely ball with NBA players. Um, that's no joke. That's nothing to turn your nose up at. And Bulls fans, I would encourage you guys to be excited about this. I think this is actually a really sneaky AK kind of move. Um, that could make us better um, without, you know, breaking the bank again. Uh, and that's kind of what we have to do this offseason because we, like I said, don't have a lot of trade assets. Um, we should have some some cap room, but free agency market's looking kind of strange. So we'll see what our tourist kind of show us has to do. I'm going to have a lot of more Bulls content coming up, as I always say. Um, we have offseason grades still coming out. Um, we're going to be looking towards the draft lottery and the draft and what could end up happening there with the Bulls. Um, we're going to look at off-season targets. Michich, obviously, one of those now added to the list. Um, guys like Lonzo, Chris Paul, potentially. Um, but we'll get to all that down the line. Uh, stay posted. Follow on Twitter, at our Tourist Fan Club. Um, I'm always letting you guys know when new stuff is coming out. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see where this ends up going. I'm pretty excited, but who knows? It's just a rumor as of right now. Don't want to get too excited, but, um, you know sometimes hype kind of gets the better of you. So I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Peace out.